you know, we're just specks of dust on a speck of dust amongst other specks of dust, so. Hey, I'm John. And I went on a road trip to find answers to some of life's biggest questions. Join me on the road trip to truth. Truth, it doesn't exist in my opinion. It doesn't matter what somebody else thinks. No certainty, everything is subjective. The origins of the universe. I tried to sound like I was in a sci-fi movie right there, but I know that didn't work. But just think about it, the origins of the universe, how we got here, does it even make a difference? I mean, some people say that we are the result of stardust. Some people say that we're the result of a divine God who made everything. How do you think the universe came into existence? God, the Big Bang. As far as I know, it started with the Big Bang. And that's like what created like matter and everything. I don't think it matters that much. Okay. Why, why do you think it doesn't matter? I don't know, what's the effect on my day-to-day -day life? How the universe started. Some would argue that it doesn't matter how it happened. We're here, so we're here. Whatever happened, it happened a long time ago. Besides, we've got plenty of pressing issues if we wanted to worry about something. I mean, there's racism and sexism and suicide. How we got here doesn't really matter as much as those things do, or does it? Our guide today is Tom Hammond, <laughs> but, but. author of What Time is Purple. Tom's kind of a Southern boy. Okay, he's really Southern. But don't let the aw shucks attitude fool you. He's written a book that has over a million copies in print. He kind of knows what he's talking about. You can narrow this thing down to something has existed eternally mm -hmm. or absolutely nothing once existed right. and then something did. I'm gonna give you a scenario and I want you to tell me which option you think is more likely. First option is that an uncaused something has always existed, so there's something that's uncaused, it's always existed, or that nothing once existed, but then for some reason something just did. Uh, I would go with the second one. Okay. Yep. So nothing used to exist and now something exists. Yes. Huh? So how did, how did that happen? Uh, I mean, I personally uh, think that that would be uh, the Big Bang. Most people would have chosen A, that something has always existed. Where the divide comes is that theists, people who believe in God, they believe that God is the always existent, first uncaused cause. The atheistic camp will say, well, something has always existed, but it's been energy or it's been matter in some form. Could you explain the Big Bang Theory to me real quick? Uh, like you said, nothing. Uh, and then just the right, like, primordial soup of like materials to uh, <laughs> essentially. Isn't that, isn't that something? Yeah, yeah, I mean. <laughs> Why would he say that option B is better than option A if you're saying even the scientists will say that option A is better? Because if you're trying to arrive at a conclusion you want to arrive at, and a lot of people want to arrive at the conclusion that a God is not needed yeah. to explain reality or explain the existence of the universe. If that's the conclusion you want to arrive at, you will resort to some pretty far out absurdities. Is it possible that you believe right now in an impossibility? Could be very possible, yeah. Does that concern you at all? Not really, no. Why not? I've been wrong about a lot of things before. I could be mad at myself about believing something that was wrong because I didn't really have anything at stake. There are things we can be wrong about every day. No real consequence. Okay, we were wrong, made a mistake. There are matters, though, that have huge consequence if you're wrong. Theism being one of them. Right. If you have decided there is no God and there is a God, that's going to be a huge consequence. But I think the reason a lot of people reach that conclusion is it's just, it's just a way not to have to deal with it. What does it lead to if you really live consistently with the worldview that nothing matters? First of all, no one can live a life consistent with that worldview. There are things that matter in order to survive. Mm -hmm. 
So just to live, we have to accept that some things matter. It leads to trying to find meaning in life that the person doesn't really believe is there. Sure. It, it leads to having no purpose. And we wind up in depression. We wind up in, in why get out of bed? Why, why go through the day? For you personally, what kind of purpose do you have in your life? Um, that's a hard one. I don't know, I haven't really put a whole lot of thought into it. You know, we're just specks of dust on a speck of dust amongst other specks of dust. I don't know, to actually like say there's a purpose for things, it's kind of difficult. And consequently, we see a lot of people, as, as the atheistic worldview has, has grown in recent years, we see more and more of this. We see more and more people struggling with uh, depression, anxiety disorders, and trying to find a purpose for, for why are they here? What, what's this all about? Why even go through it? Yeah. To its credit, that is the logical conclusion of atheism. Have you ever struggled with anxiety or depression? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I would say I'd struggled with depression. Uh, most definitely anxiety. I've had anxiety before. Have you ever had suicidal thoughts? Yeah. Why do you think you got to that place? I just felt like I was putting a lot of work in and not seeing the results I wanted and didn't know what I could do better. And I'm just sinking. Does how life began actually matter? The answer is yes, it definitely matters. Here's a few reasons why. One, if God created the universe, he owns everything in it, including you. That means you have value. On the flip side, if evolution is true, then you're no more valuable than a sea slug. Two, if God made all humans, then there aren't different races, there's just one humankind. That'll change the way you look at people who are different than you. Three, if God designed human life with a specific purpose, that means that your life has purpose. If you're a child of chance, then your life has no ultimate purpose. Four, if survival of the fittest is true, it's actually a good thing for countries and nations to commit genocide because they're just weeding out the weak. Five, and finally, if God doesn't exist, morality doesn't exist. You can't say that things like systematic genocide are morally wrong if you have no moral standard. If the universe is random, then all we are left with is our opinion. And the list goes on, but you get the idea. You might be thinking, wait just a minute, John. What about all the evidence for evolution? That has to matter too, right? Up next, we look at the impossibility of evolution. What's up guys? Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Next week we got more content coming at you, so make sure you subscribe.